sentir la musique. Je peux sentir le jazz, ça, ça me fait quelque chose. Et la musique classique, ça vous fait quelque chose En oh, fait, la, la musique classique, c'est pour la tête un peu. Et le jazz, c'est pour le corps. Oh god, it's so bad. Okay. Good morning guys. It's Wednesday. I think like May 16th or something like that. I'm gonna get ready. I have a couple of things to do. So we're gonna do kind of like a raw day in my life. Yeah, I'm excited and I have a couple of things to do. I gotta go to the dentist. I'm meeting up for lunch with a girl that I met at an influencer event actually and she seems really sweet. I did make it a point this year to be a little bit more open to friendships and meeting new people especially because I kind of am always like in my own bubble. Anyways, I'm gonna get ready for my day. I haven't had my coffee. I ran out of coffee beans. I gotta go get coffee beans. I have to go get a filling in my teeth which is not gonna be fun but anyways, let's get ready for the day. I'm gonna go grab my myself some water change into my outfit of the day i have a couple of options go pants they're from n nbd i was thinking to pair it with the body so i have this bodysuit from zara which might be a vibe but i feel like i've been wearing a lot of black thinking to do like this skims bodysuit it's from pumi and they're on amazon this would be cute like the brown with like the neutral tone let's try it on see if it's a the same vibe that I'm thinking in my in my head because you know what sometimes you put on an outfit it's like not the same as what you thought it would be in your head yeah um so I have the bodysuit on I think this is cute I think it's a vibe just adding my magic cream but yeah so as I was saying I've made it more of a point this year to expand friendships and I'm always like so shy and put way too much on Oh my god, you guys, I put way too much. I made it like an effort to meet more people and to be more social. And my goals for this year was to just venture out, be more social, and meet more people in Miami. I told you guys, I went to an event last week and I met a lot of really, really nice girls. Do the same thing I do. Some of them are YouTubers, they TikTokers, influencers. I'm gonna grab lunch with one of the girls that I met. She actually hit me up. I'm excited. I don't know, I feel like we might have a lot of comments. She's really sweet and like I'm excited to have a little girls day. I never really do that kind of stuff. I'm always working and I'm never really, okay, you know, let me take a day off and usually leave that for the weekend. It's kind of like venture out. I'm just putting some sunscreen. I have like a million step routine for that perfect base, but this really works for me. Like, I don't know, I love it. I think I'm good on time. So I get ready fairly quickly. Should be fine. Um, Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna work on I'm just gonna do concealer today. I need a lot of it. I feel like I look so tired. I don't know. Another thing I want to discuss, guys, I'm gonna be uploading on a more consistent schedule. So I know that I kind of have been all over the place with YouTube recently. I feel like I was finding myself and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Anyways, I'm gonna do some bronzer. So yeah, as I was saying. I feel like I'm not like a, not a huge fan of the Instagram platform currently. I don't know what it is about Instagram. Instagram's like a weird platform where everyone's just like watching each other even though they don't really talk. Like at this point on Instagram, I only care about like five people. I use a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury. I haven't used it in a while. I'm gonna look a little more bronzy. Now I look more like tan. I Okay, I definitely need to set with powder because I really did such a oily base. I guess powder is important in this. I keep getting sidetracked because I haven't had my coffee, so I'm like all over the place. 
Yeah, I haven't been really loving Instagram. Not my favorite platform. So I'm gonna focus more on YouTube. You guys voted and said would be the best posting schedule. So I was like, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna try my best to aim for every Tuesday and Thursday. That way you guys always know when to expect a video and it's not kind of like, oh, is she gonna post today? And I just feel like it creates a schedule for me knowing that, okay, I have to upload on Tuesday or I have to upload on Thursday because then I'm like, okay, then I have to film a video on this day or I have to edit on this day. It's really, it makes it easier even for me as a content creator just to stay organized. I'm feeling my eyebrows very slightly. I love these cream shadows. These are from Wonder Beauty. Just got this blush from Rare Beauty and I posted about it on TikTok. It's my new fave. It's so freaking good. It makes you look, oh wow, I put way too much. Use a beauty blender because I like how beauty blenders soak up the product. There we go. But this just makes you look so peachy and sun kissed. Tarte Man Eater. I need my coffee, guys. I feel like I'm not even human at this point without my coffee. And this Fenty Beauty Heat Applause. It's a new favorite. Just so good it gives you such a pretty color and it also plumps your lips like, officially ready hi guys so i ended up changing i was like not feeling it this morning i think because i ran out of coffee and i am just terrible when i run out of coffee i'm like not a human being did stop and get some coffee from cali coffee it's one of my favorite places um and they're right off the i-95 on sheridan if you guys are familiar i went to for lauderdale to buy my favorite coffee beans i've mentioned them before it's the Wells Coffee in Fort Lauderdale. They have Honduras, which is like a single origin coffee. And I just, I freaking love this stuff. It's the freshest coffee beans and probably my favorite coffee beans I've ever tried. As you guys can already tell, I have a coffee addiction. So I made it on time to my dentist appointment. It's 12 right now. I have to get my cavity fixed. Not my cavity, my filler. I had um my filling fixed. Apparently something's wrong with my filling that I got done probably like 10 years ago and they need to fix it up. I'm gonna do that and then I have lunch at 2 30 with that girl that I was telling you guys that I met at the Nine West event and I'm really excited just because like I am never really open to meeting new people and I'm just excited to see you know like if we're a good match especially in Miami I feel like I don't have that many friends because I moved around a lot when I was younger so I'm really open to meeting new people I made it like a note in my head for this year to be open to meeting new people and to be more social because my circle is so small my boyfriend's my best friend and I mainly hang out with like his friends and really need to like, get out of my comfort zone and explore things to see if it can be a good friendship so what i'm doing today anyways guys i'm gonna run over to my dentist appointment because it's 11 59 and the appointment's at 12 i'll catch you guys after i get out of the dentist i'm not excited for this like i always dread going to the dentist but we gotta do this i just got back from the dentist i am in design district i drove over here for our lunch but i got here a bit early because my dentist appointment they didn't get to do the filling that they were supposed to do today because the nurse didn't feel good so i'm 30 minutes early to lunch so i think i'm just gonna walk around design district vlog my day here i guess hopefully it doesn't rain because i saw a couple of clouds in miami you just kind of you never know it sometimes it starts raining out of nowhere and it's kind of like it catches you off guard i also want to share with you guys my new favorite lip combo that i've been wearing mac half run hot cherry gloss from fenty beauty i really love it Glasses I should wear. I guess I could wear these. I do like these. For anything, I'm gonna go for these today. I don't know if I'll vlog lunch just because I don't want to bring out my camera, especially the first one on one I'm doing, you know, with this girl. So I think let's just not vlog during lunch. I might take like little snippets of the food. We're not gonna like vlog us because I don't want to make her uncomfortable. A couple stores I actually kind of want to go into. They have an aloe store here. They obviously have a Sephora. I might go in there, but honestly, I don't really need anything right now. I don't know, sometimes you just never know. Like there is a couple of lip liners I've been eyeing. I don't know. I don't think I need it. I think I'm fine. I'll take a look. Maybe there's like a little lip liner that I want. Maybe I'll have to get the lip liner. I'll let you guys know. Hopefully I don't do too much damage. I really Okay guys, um, my friend just got here so I'm gonna head out now to Storm. I've been like walking around but I get better at vlogging, kind of walking around by myself. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Everybody knows. 
Good morning guys, it's next day. I didn't vlog my lunch with my friend because you know, I wanted to be respectful. She was so sweet though. We had a great time and I'm really happy that I went out of my comfort zone and went to lunch with her. So I didn't vlog the rest of my day yesterday because I was just exhausted and I was driving all day, stuck in traffic, rush hour. All shebang, but now I'm back and I want to make a coffee. I wanna make a coffee because I just woke up. I have a nail appointment in an hour. So let's get this day freaking started. Cute. There we go. And then I'm just, oh, I think I need a little bit of makeup. I literally look crazy. You say beauty. I haven't used this in a while because I've been using my Tan Luke's ones. I feel like this year I've been so good at just like being open to friendships, which makes me so happy. Was terrible at it for a little bit. So like I said, I went to lunch with this influencer yesterday and she was so sweet and we had such a great time. And we actually have a lot in common. We found out we're signed like with the same social media agency and that was really cool to find out. Had no idea. So we just like kind of talked about that, you know, just like life you know doing social media and she actually does youtube which it's so rare to find an influencer that also does youtube i find that most influencers i know in miami they do instagram or tiktok and there's not a lot of youtubers here that are from florida like i think i know like maybe two or three that are from florida so i just find like i relate so much with certain things and people are youtubers because i'm you know there's just so much like we related on so it was really nice to talk about it was nice to have like a little girl's day because as you guys know i have a boyfriend and when you have a boyfriend especially like long term sometimes you forget about like nourishing those like women's friendships and you know i'm always around my boyfriend he's obviously amazing and i love being with him but sometimes it's just you know it's a it's a lot of male energy and I sometimes just need to get some feminine energy and what, like I said, one of my priorities is to start, you know, taking YouTube a little bit more seriously this year. I really am just like not been a fan of Instagram this year, but I never use Instagram for like watching reels. It's just, I don't know, like I'd rather just go on TikTok. Instagram is copying TikTok and it's, they should have just stayed in their lane other thing i want to talk about is my style i feel like this year i've been trying i'm not trying i've been less inclined to be as revealing and don't get me wrong like i live in miami so it's hard you guys probably see me you know with my boobies out and like just wearing like revealing clothing and stuff like that because i live in miami it's always hot you know i like things to look flattering like i'm young why not show off my body and stuff like that but lately i've kind of been like trying to um just dress a little classier you know channel my inner sophia richie and it, sophia richie has nothing to do with this because i've been trying for this whole sophia richie thing i was looking up a lot to matilda dejera um you guys definitely know who she is and just like her effortless like cool girl style like she's so effortless just always looks so good and so classy I feel like also she just has like great hair. You guys know what I mean. Like she just always looks so effortless. And I kind of want to, you know, transition and get some staple like pieces in my wardrobe. I have a lot of just like cheap things, unfortunately. And it's not because I want to. It's because like, you know, I work with a lot of these brands. Like fast fashion, I, I don't really have anything against it. Because I think if you are on a budget, it's a great way, you know, to get a great outfit. 
but I do want to start investing in higher quality pieces that are more expensive but they last you a really long time and I just want to stop like having too many things in my closet that I don't, I don't wear because I've been having this issue of just having too many things in my closet that I, I don't wear I go into my closet and I have nothing to wear I'm just tired of that feeling like I want to be able to go to my closet and have those stable pieces that are me and that are effortless and that I can constantly rewear because the quality is amazing that will last forever these fast pa fashion pieces that I wear once and then I'm tired of them or I wash them once and then they get pretty much ruined and they don't look the same after washing them once okay Zara a lot of the stuff I get from Zara just isn't good quality on okay let me think should I do my lips I need to leave soon I'm running late I ordered the new G7X camera I it's on back order i don't know when it's gonna get shipped so sorry guys I, I i literally cannot i can't multitask for my life this is the laura mercier pencil in hazelnut tea it's a really nice color. i haven't like used it much but i always find myself going back to it i want to use like new lip combos because i always use the same ones this is the l'oreal color rich 113 Le nude it's such a pretty color so i want to try it because this looks really really pretty oh my god it's so pretty i, I kind of love this some gloss this is the fenty beauty new lip gloss in the fenty heat i love this okay i feel like i look really good it was done all right let's go get our nails done i think i'm gonna do french french action today all right guys i'm attempting to drive and vlog Can you guys recommend me tripods for the car because i can't find any so, let me think about what else is new in my life for you guys but honestly i'm going on a trip next weekend for memorial day which i'm excited about to kind of just like get out of town which maybe i'll honestly vlog that I'm using my really old sony camera so i ended up re returning my zv1 for those that are thinking of getting the zv1 it's a great vlogging camera the sony one However, it has a really bad shakiness problem and I also find that the color grade of the Sony cameras are not as good as Canon from what I've heard. I always felt myself kind of looking very bland or very gray in the camera and I always had to like bump up the saturation in editing in Final Cut Pro. And I know that with Canon cameras, they already have a more advanced color grading system so it's like canon already has amazing civilization automatically without having to buy a stabilizer the color grade is amazing which is good for somebody that's in beauty and fashion because you know you want colors to look vibrant like you want to look good the sony one i have to say has amazing autofocus and i think that people complained a lot with the canon camera with the new one that the autofocus is not good you kind of have to look at the pros and cons there's so much traffic and i'm running late always 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 that's kind of my dilemma with that but i'm really excited for the new camera because i also heard it has amazing just like photo mode which right the camera i'm using right now is my old sony that i got like back in i think it like in 2018 and it still works amazing as you guys can clearly see like it has amazing autofocus had a lot of issues with this camera like if i accidentally drop it not even that high like if i do if it just like gets mishandled slightly the lens starts to act up and it starts opening back and forth and i have the same issue with the zv1 i'm kind of just like over sony cameras even though they were my go-to for like the last three years i switch over to canon for vlogging and stuff so excited honestly for that new camera and thank you again for all your love and support i know youtube has been a big journey for me because i started youtube when i was so young and when i had no idea what i was doing i was really lucky that i got so many subscribers you know from my makeup get ready with me is like those videos <laughs> eight years ago um went viral and i just gained like overnight so many subscribers to understand that i was also a child at that time i didn't understand what that was worth and i didn't understand that i should be making youtube a priority and back then i was making school a priority i was making my life a priority i was making you know i was a teenager i was, I was just having fun and enjoying my life so i just got my nails done and then you guys i'm not over it so i asked them to give me a like a darker nude and they got me the most perfect nude i've probably ever tried in my entire life so i got french because i was like i had like such bright nails for a month 
you guys i'm not over these they came out so pretty i did the same thing on my toes i'm not gonna show you guys my toes because there's like weird people in here that are obsessed with toes not the girls though like, you know the men that watch me for some reason can we just take a moment to admire these nails i got them done at skinny dip nails they're amazing if you guys are in north miami area check out skinny dip they're on biscayne boulevard like i'm not over these i'm obsessed you guys obsessed by like oh my god these are so ah, obsessed you guys it came out so pretty so so pretty i'm gonna get home uh, make some breakfast and then I have to film a few content deliverables for a brand that I'm working with so I gotta do that nice. I just got back home and I, I have a big package I don't know what it's from so let's open it up out of the box it's heavy let's see what this is what is this oh I think this is um this is Logan Paul's like brand hydration sticks Cool. Oh, I heard people talking about these. This is like good for hangovers. <laughs> Caffeine. Energy drinks. I don't drink energy drinks a lot because they make me jittery. Cool. And then we have their waters. Oh, strawberry watermelon. Okay. I was like, why is this so heavy? I'm just right away looking at the ingredients. Is this like an energy drink or it's coconut water, antioxidants, and electrolytes? Oh, this is no caffeine. This is a hydration drink. Ooh, this I'm excited for because I don't really like energy drinks, but maybe my boyfriend. I'm going to give it to him because I get really jittery with energy drinks. So I'm probably going to give this to him and let you guys know what he thinks about these. The hydration packs and this I'm excited for. I think I'm going to actually try one right now. That's pretty much the package. I'm going to quickly make myself some lunch because it's like 1230 right now. I need to eat and I don't even know what I'm going to make. Probably eggs because I always make eggs. And then I have to film a brand deal thing. All right, let's make some lunch. Okay, okay now we gotta do it this side. Guys, let's make some lunch. So I'm gonna make eggs because when you're in doubt, just make eggs, it's easy. You don't have to think about it too much. So that's what I'm gonna do. So turn it on. So I have these. These are my fave, the flavor bombs or like the sugar bombs. I ready i also take wawa bread this one and i'm just gonna put some cream cheese on it okay guys i'm gonna go ahead and have my brunch because it's like brunch time at this point and then i'll head back with you guys when i get ready to film my brand content yesterday's vlog i kind of just stopped vlogging i don't know why i had a really busy day and i just had a million errands to do so i got really caught up in those errands and i was like i don't have the time i really did not have the time to vlog yesterday it's saturday and i feel like i never vlog on the weekends just because i do work during the week and like i want to disconnect from social media and from you know being a content creator sometimes on the weekends that way that i'm not like overly worn out with just like you know social media stuff now i'm kind of in the mood to vlog on the weekend because i think that the weekend could be a great time to vlog because it's usually the time that i actually doing things i am grabbing lunch with my niece actually and we're gonna just hang out i don't know what the plan is but we're gonna hang out i do want to film my skincare routine for tiktok really quick because a lot of people have been asking me about my skincare routine yeah i blew up my hair yesterday so i don't know what was going on i have these peter roth thomas eye patches on right now and yeah because i have been waking up with like the worst dark circles underneath my eyes definitely do not get enough sleep but that's fine i have this starbies cup and i've been loving to just every day fill it up with some water
entire situation. something before I leave my house. Let's at least put on a little something. I'm always like, oh no, I'm not gonna wear any makeup. Oop. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear any makeup. What do I do? I've also been loving this Fenty gloss. We're at an arrival. We're waiting for our Oh my god, this is so sad. Hey guys, it's Sunday. I didn't really, I'm a bit terrible at vlogging this guys. I'm so sorry if this vlog is kind of all over the place. But yesterday, as you guys saw, I, I grabbed some lunch with my niece. We kind of just hung out because my boyfriend, he had a few business meetings to do yesterday. So I was just, you know, a chill Saturday. And then we met up with some friends for dinner. I didn't want to vlog back. I'm a little bit like sometimes if I'm vlogging with people that I'm meeting for the first time or just people I haven't seen in a while. The situation yesterday, we had dinner with some people that we haven't seen in a while and like our friend was like introducing us to his girlfriends. I just didn't want to, you know, vlog it and make people uncomfortable. Today's Sunday. I usually do a Sunday reset Sundays. So I'm going to quickly grab lunch with my boyfriend's family and we're going to hang out. And then um, we're probably just going to go home and relax for the rest of the day. I already did all the laundry. So I just am doing, I'm going to probably have like a little bit of the Sunday reset to do. Just need some SPF. But yeah, guys, I, like I mentioned before, I'm waiting on my new vlogging camera because this camera is not that great for vlogging. It's also a little out there. Like, I got this camera, I think, back in, like, 20 inch. So I feel like the quality, like, the color grading isn't great on this camera. It makes me look very gray. I'm really excited to get the new camera, but it's just taking a little bit to ship to finally get my new camera. Playing my L'Oreal. Um, what else? What else is new? I think this year has been super interesting. I kind of told myself I'm going to focus more on TikTok and YouTube and stuff. Capricorns are the most hard on themselves. Like, if I see that I'm not super happy with a video, I'm super hard on myself. I'm like, oh, I could have done a better job. You know what I mean? Very, like, hard workers. <sighs> it's just like, why do I blame everything on my zodiac sign? Maybe I'm just like that. I don't know. So... Yeah, lately I've been feeling this like brisk of like fresh air, just like really excited for things to come. And I just got this blush, guys, and I always forget how pigmented it is. So right now, like look at that. It's so pigmented. Oh my god. And I don't use my beauty well, I'm gonna have to because it's the only way to blend this out. I really don't use my beauty blender, but we're gonna just have to use it. Where are my lips? Lip liner. In a long time. It's from Kiko. It's actually really nice. Why oh, I haven't used it? Because it is really nice. Oh, I really like this combo. Color lashes. Mascara. I mean, for my eyebrows, I'm just gonna do. Yeah.